echoes. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Willie came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think we've got the wrong time. We'll come back later, let's go and have a wee play, come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big, tall tower. Up there is the castle tower. Yeah, soldiers used to be up there. That tower's for soldiers, said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come and see the castle? Uh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then. Thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty. Just walls. It smelt funny. And this is... I see the fire, please. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. I like the little friendly room. Yeah. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? Said Timmy. Yeah. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh. I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey, Tig, new things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. Strange smells, strange rooms and strange sounds. Hey Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! So go for it, Tig. There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared. Just silly echoes. Come on. I wanted to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. There were no woos. So me and Sammy had fun making woos. We made lots of other echo sounds. Hello! Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Wooly, ah! he was a scaredy woo. It's only a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Wooly. We can guess as to Wooly. Fireworks. When I was little, I went to watch fireworks. We went to Timmy's house. Wooly came too. Timmy had a garden. At the end of Timmy's garden was a park. We are going to watch the fireworks in the park. This is where they'll be doing the fireworks. 
Timmy was very excited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. Timmy had animal masks. He ran around whipping. I had a cat mask. I went meow. I like playing at Timmy's. <laughs> Mummy was excited about the fireworks. <gasps> I think everyone's getting a little overexcited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited about the fireworks. But I like playing at Timmy's. We did painting. We painted firework pictures with big bangs and whooshes. I like the firework pictures, but I didn't like fireworks. We played funny games. We played blow the grapes. We played bite the jammy scone. We played pop the raisin bag. The bag went bang. It's like a firework. I didn't like fireworks, but I like eating the raisins. The fireworks didn't start until it was dark. When we waited for the dark, Daddy told us a story. Daddy told the story of the three bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Bernard. Daddy looks. Oh. Daddy got the story of the three bears all wrong. And she started to eat the bears. Cabbage soup. Porridge. Por oh, right, porridge, right. When the three bears came back in, they caught Goldilocks and she was watching the television. She was sleeping in the three bears' bed. Oh, is that what it was? Right. Silly I daddy. I know, dad's really silly, isn't he? Then it was dark. Time for the fireworks, said mummy. I want to play hide and seek. I said, and head under the table. Everyone was excited about the fireworks. Come on, Tig, you make us all late. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. I was scared of fireworks. Hey, Tig, just because everyone else isn't scared of fireworks doesn't mean that you can't be scared. Fireworks scare me. The bangs, the flashes and the whizzies. Fireworks scare lots of animals. Dogs and cats hate fireworks. So when the fireworks start, the best place for animals is indoors. So maybe when the fireworks start, the best place for you and me is indoors too. Then the fireworks won't seem quite so scary and then we can look after each other. So go for it, Tig. Tell everyone that you don't want to watch the fireworks outside. It's too scary. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Mummy and Daddy and Timmy that I don't like fireworks. Don't worry, Tig. No worries, said Timmy. We can watch from the window. So we did, and I cuddled Willy. Watching the fireworks from inside was fun. The fireworks whizzed and whooshed and painted the sky. When my toy spider heard a big bang, he jumped. It's only a firework, Willie, I said. I like fireworks and I love Willie. We've been scared since we were The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat, a sailor's hat. I loved my sailor's hat. Willie liked my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That will be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me! Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. You've got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. 
off we sails on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. Well, I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Granddad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. There's Peter Pan. Look, there's Peter Pan. Sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! Oh, My sailor hat was gone. It floated away. You know, was it my hat? Have my hat, said Grandad. No, I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, uh, do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? I missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig. When you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy to find him. I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. Dobbin. When I was little, my auntie Shona works at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited my auntie Shona, I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tig. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on, Dobbin. then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin, Dobbin was friendly. Dobbin, Dobbin let me stroke him. I like Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I loved Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. 
Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. Where's Dobbin? Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie hat. Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new here. riding hat. Okay. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. You won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time so for your riding sorry. lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie I'm Shona ready. sniffed I'll go and, fetch and went daddy. to fetch Daddy. I was sad. I was very sad. Hey, Tig, nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, Ah! It's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. And I love Wooly. We've been guessing The wedding. When I was little, I had to go to a big house where my auntie Shona was getting married. Wooly came too. Tig, why don't you come and have a look at your dress? There was a dress. It was very pretty. It was my dress. I was a flower girl. Oh, I have a tiara. Isn't it lovely? Yes, Auntie it Shona was having her face painted. Mummy helped me put on my dress. Oh, Tig, what a pretty flower girl. Granny said I looked very pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. My Auntie Shona said I looked very, very pretty. Auntie Shona gave me a basket of flower petals. <gasps> Miss Lottie, my dancing teacher, was in charge of the wedding. Good luck. We followed Miss Lottie. There were lots of people in the big room. My friends Timmy and Louise and Mr Tonka and the giggly lady and Granny and Mummy had all come to see me. Auntie Shona's boyfriend, Clive, pushed in next to Auntie Shona. Please be seated. Miss Lottie started talking. She talked and talked and talked. I'm happy to officiate her marriage to Clive. When I looked at Granny, she was crying. Poor Granny. I didn't want my Granny to cry. So I did my special dance to cheer Granny up. Granny liked my special dance. Granny stopped crying. <laughs> Mummy came along and stopped my dance. Yes. 
Mummy said we have to get more petals. I didn't want to stop my dance. I was having fun. Mummy had spoiled my fun. And everyone else's fun too. I'm just going to get some more petals taken. Whee! Hey, Tig. It's not nice being stopped when you're having fun. But sometimes fun things have to stop so that other important things can be done. At Shona's wedding, the most important thing to be done is for Shona to be married to Clive. Miss Lottie can't marry Shona and Clive while you're doing your lovely dance. So Mummy is only stopping your fun so that Shona and Clive can be married. Hey and Tig, don't worry about Granny. She wasn't sad crying. She was happy crying. Ding, dang, dong, dong, ding, dang, dong, dong. So go for it, Tig. Help to make Shona's day a happy, happy wedding day. Be a good flower girl and throw some petals. Whee! Yes, I thought. I am important. I'm the flower girl. But the most important of all is Shona. I'm going to make Shona's day the best day ever. I threw petals all over the floor. Auntie Shona was so happy. When Clive saw Willy, he got a fright. We all had a party. There was lots of dancing. I like being a flower girl. I like to make everyone happy. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yeah. Ready, I said. And off we Let's went to climb the mountain. Are you excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Take there'll be none left, please. I said. Just one. I ate another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. 
What? No, I said. No more oh, tomato yeah. sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way, so you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. We've been scared since we were here. Fussy. Morning, Tig. Daddy, where's Mummy? When I was little, my Mummy went away to look after Grandad. I'm here to look after you and Wooly, said Daddy. Let's get you dressed. Daddy just dumped my clothes on the bed. I like my clothes laid out like a scarecrow, I said. Let's get you dressed. When I got dressed, Daddy got it all wrong. Trousers. Daddy forgot my socks, went on before my trousers. I got socks on first. I had to get dressed all over again. Arms, rid of those arms. Right, and there's Willie. Come on, let's go through and have some breakfast. Come on, and get your breakfast. At breakfast, Daddy poured my Aussie flakes into a mountain. Daddy, I don't want to have a mountain flat. All right, would you? I like my Aussie flakes poured flat. Right, take here's your milk. Then Daddy poured milk from the edges instead of the middle. Well, can you make a hole for it? Daddy gave me the wrong spoon. Daddy, I want my special spoon. Oh, okay. Daddy's rubbish, isn't he? You get stuck in. After breakfast, Daddy wanted to play with my bricks. I didn't like Daddy playing with my bricks. Is that the way you're meant to do it? He got all the colours and shapes the wrong way round. I sat in my little house. After a big bit, Daddy said, Come on, Tig, we're going indoor sledging. Do some indoor sledging? Yeah. Look, I've got your snowsuit and I've got your wellies. Come on then. Daddy had my waterproofs and my Wellington. When we arrived at the sledging, I was hungry. So Daddy took me for some lunch. I didn't like my lunch. My peas were next to my fish and not by my potatoes. I just ate the potatoes. The indoor sledging was inside. Daddy wanted me to put on my waterproofs. We need to get changed. No, I said. I wear my waterproofs outside, oh not inside. We can't go sledging then, said Daddy. Everything was wrong today. Nothing was just how I like it. Hey, Tig, always doing things in exactly the same way makes you feel safe and happy. 
But no one can know exactly how you like things to be done because everyone is different. Some things are important to one person but not to another. No need to be fussy. Which sock goes on first or where the peas go on your plate doesn't matter. Putting on your waterproofs inside for a change won't spoil your day. Whee! It'll mean you can go inside sledging! Go for it, Tig! Stop fussing and have fun! Yes, I thought. There's no fun fussing. Daddy, can I put my wet... I like doing things differently today with my daddy. What do we say? One, two, three, let go! Whoa. We had fun inside. Indoor sledging in my waterproofs. When a lady saw Willie on my sledge, she nearly fell over. I don't like being fussy. I like having fun with everyone. And I love Willie. We've been guessing to a here we are. Panda. At the zoo. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig. This is where we get the safari bus. I'm going to have to wait for a bit. We let's, had to uh, wait for a special we'll bus back. to see the animals. Look at all the toy We waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what, can you name it? There are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Then I saw some pandas. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have a toy panda, Daddy? I'm going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies. Pink flamingos. An African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Daddy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy right, panda. Listen. We've got to play. Right, we right. went over a wooden bridge. Take. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But hey, Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. The flamingos. Whee! The lions, the tigers, we, and the pandas. Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig, if you want a cuddly toy, you've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Yes, Tig. Daddy, I'm sorry. I haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. Should we go and see the, is this where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eats a lot of food. 
with the panda saw Willy. He just looked. It's only a toy spy that's salty. Then the panda went to sleep. Always go back to sleep. Night night. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Teg? No, I said. I've seen a real panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, isn't it? I love Willy. We've been guessing to Willy. Subway. When I was little, I liked going on the subway train. Willy liked going on the subway train too. It was fun going down under the ground. It was scary and exciting. When the train rumbled and roared out of the tunnel, it squeaked and hissed and stopped. It was like magic when the door slid open and we got on. I was so happy rattling and shuggling through the tunnels on the subway train. I loved the subway train. Wooly loved the subway train too. One day my friend Angel came to play. We played subway trains all day. We drew pictures of subway trains. We made tunnels for the subway trains. Wooly pretended to be a train. How about you build tunnels all around the room and then you can be the subway trains? Yeah. yeah. I think that's good. Mummy gave us lots of old sheets and blankets. We made tunnels all over the place. We hooted and went through our tunnels. Sometimes we bumped. Mummy liked our fun. Who wants to go on a real subway? Who wants to ride? on a real subway. Before we left, we played sliding doors. Thank you. Come on. We played subway trains all the way to the station. OK, we have to be sensible now. We're going to go on a real subway, so no more playing. When we got to the station, we played sliding doors no more playing, oh, said Mummy. But me no and Angel were having now, fun. Then okay. Mummy stopped us. She no stood between playing. us okay, we so we couldn't play. Come on, said Mummy. Going underground wasn't fun anymore. The subway train wasn't exciting. There was no magic. Mummy had spoiled our fun. Hey Tig, it doesn't seem fair when someone spoils your fun. It's not nice when someone stops your game. But there are some places where it's wrong to play. There are some places where you need to take special care. The subway is no place to run around and play. Everywhere on the subway, things are moving. The escalator's going up and down. Trains arriving and leaving. Doors opening and closing. People coming and going. So Mummy isn't spoiling your fun. Mummy is taking special care of you and Angel. But hey Tig, that doesn't mean you can't still have fun and enjoy the ride. Just sit back and relax. No need to play a game when you have all the fun of a real train. Go for it, Tig. Say sorry to Mummy and no more train games until you're home again. Yes, I thought. Mummy was right. A real subway is no place to play. Sorry, Mummy, I said. Oh, thank you, Tig. <laughs> Mummy let me and Angel sit together. We had fun on the real subway train. Just looking and shiggling along. When we got home, we played subway trains again. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly <gasps> fell over. It's only a toy spider. I like subway trains. 
and I love Willie. We've been guessing to Willie. Guessing better. You're not hungry. When I was little, I got ill. I didn't want any tea. And I hurt all over. Oh, I don't feel very well. Aww. Mummy took my temperature. Oops, you're a bit hot, Teg, said Mummy. Let's get you to bed. I didn't feel well. Hello? When Daddy came home, he came to see me. Are you OK? You OK, Teg? Just got a bit of a temperature. No, I said. I don't feel well. Wooly cuddled in beside me. I fell asleep. When I woke up next morning, Mummy looked at me in a funny way. I know what's wrong with you. You've got chicken pox. I see what's wrong with you, Teg, said Mummy. You've got chicken pox. I looked like a speckledy thing with little red spots. We'll have to get you better, said Mummy. In the day, Mummy read me lots of stories. My spots itched. Mummy put nice cool stuff all over the spots. I even had spots in my mouth. Mummy gave me lollies. Mummy made me lots of mashy meals and sloppy drinks. This one is Bernard. Bernard and <laughs> At night, Mummy gave me puppet gloves to wear so I didn't scratch. I like my puppet gloves. When Daddy came home, we played. We built things on the table. Every day my spots didn't itch. Quite so much. Oh, oh no red. Soon I was painting and drawing and doing things myself. Sometimes I felt a bit better. Sometimes I didn't. One day Mummy said, Tig, I think you're getting a bit better. Would you like Angel round to play? Tig, would you like Angel to come and play? Yes, please. <gasps> and guess what? She's got chicken pox as well. Yeah. <laughs> Angel's got chicken pox too, said Mummy. I was excited. I got all my toys out for Angel to play with. I played jumping from cushion to cushion. Suddenly, I didn't feel well again. I didn't want to see Angel. The doorbell went. That'll be Angel. There's Angel. I don't want to see anybody because I don't feel very well. No, I said. I don't want to see Angel. Hey, Tig, getting better can take a long time. Sometimes you feel up, sometimes you feel down. Sometimes you feel wobbly. Sometimes you feel strange. Getting better is like doing everything for the first time all over again. Whee! Like walking in the street. Or going back to school. Or seeing Angel again. But every time you do something new again, You'll feel a little bit better. So go for it, Tig. Say hi to Angel. It'll make you feel like your old self again. Yes, I thought. I want to be my old self again. You've got spots. I want to see my friend. I want to get better. Angel and me played. When Mummy saw Willy with spots... <gasps> oh! It's only a toy spider. Oh. I like getting better. <laughs> ben, 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 Ben. I love Willy. We've been guessing to Willy. Halloween. What have we got here? Pumpkins. When I was little, we were going to have a Halloween party. Tig, we are going to have a Halloween party. What's a Halloween party? What's a Halloween party, Mummy? I said. Scary. <laughs> no, fun. 
Halloween is a party people have been having for hundreds of years, and everyone gets to dress up in funny clothes. A Halloween party is where everyone dresses up in funny clothes, said Mummy. Right, pumpkin time. The first thing that we did for the Halloween party was make pumpkin lanterns. We took the middle out of the pumpkin, and Daddy made pumpkin pie. We made a face in the pumpkin. Nose, eyes, mouth. Ooh, scary. No, funny face. Silly Daddy. Tig, what are you going to dress up as for Halloween? What do you want to dress up as? Said Mummy. You can be anything you like. A spaceman, a fairy. A bubble bug monster. A bobble bug monster, I said. What's a bobble bug monster? A monster with lots of bobbles. Mummy helped me make the bobble bug monster. When Angel came to play, she helped me make my bobble bug monster too. What are you dressing up as for Halloween, Angel? said Mummy. So what are you going to wear for Halloween, Angel? I don't know. Mm, a surprise. That's a I'm surprise. not sure yet, said Angel. Yeah. We were having the Halloween party in a big, big right room. We are going to have to make this place all scary. Scary and fun. We're mm. going to make the room into Halloween. At one end of the room, Daddy made a castle. The castle was very old. Angel came along to help too. We put the pumpkins all around the room. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? said Daddy. Angel, what are you going to get dressed up as? Mm, I don't know. Oh, that's brilliant. Surprise, surprise. On the day of Halloween, I dressed up as my bobble bug monster. Wow, I don't think there are going to be many bobble bug monsters. Daddy had made some little wings for Willy, so he could dress up too. Don't forget, Willy has to dress up too. Right, off we go. Come on, Tig. At the Halloween party, everyone came dressed up. It was fun. There were lots of monsters, fairies, ghosts, witches, pirates. Daddy didn't really have a costume. Daddy was just sort of ordinary. Mummy was a sparkly witch. I didn't see Angel. Gather round, gather round, because... Daddy told us a scary story. A scary, scary story. A fairy cried. Right, no more scary. But Halloween is scary. You're okay. No more scary, said Mummy. No more scary, Daddy. No more scary, said the bobble bug monster. Then Mummy said, Look who's arrived! I thought it was Angel, but it wasn't. Mr. Jack O' Lantern! It was Mr. Jack O' Lantern, the trick or treat man! Witches and monsters, hello! We all had to do a trick for Mr. Jack O' Lantern. And then he gave us a treat. Have you go. I was so excited. I practiced my very own bubble bug monster stomp. My turn came. But then I saw another bubble bug monster. It was Angel. I sat under a table. How dare Angel copy me? I'm the bubble bug monster. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you think you're the only bubble bug monster and then you see another one. It's not nice when people copy you. When people copy you, it can feel like someone has taken something from you. But then when people copy you, you can feel pleased too. When people copy you, it shows you how much they like the things you do. 
Angel just loved your bubble bug monster. Angel loved your bubble bug monster so much. She wanted to be a bubble bug monster too. You can feel pleased, Angel copied you. You can feel pleased you helped Angel choose her dressing up. And hey, two monster bubble bugs are better than one. So go for it, Tig. Don't be grumpy. Go and have fun with your bubble bug chum. Yes, I thought. I'm pleased that Angel liked my bubble bug monster. Monster stomps. Angel and me did a bubble bug monster stomp together for Mr. Jack o' Lantern. We got his treats. After that, Mr. Jack o' Lantern did lots of party games. Sweeten those marshmallows. Eating the marshmallow. Oh. Knocking off the witch's hat. Oh. Oh. It's time to wrap up the mummy. Oh, or should I say, a daddy? No. <laughs> Wrapping up the mummy. We wrap daddy up in old wrapping paper. <laughs> Pinning the boat high on the skeleton. <laughs> and then we did the scary monster stomp. Halloween was so much fun. At the end of the party, all the monsters and witches and fairies went home. We went home too. Bobble Bug Monster Bedtime! Retired Bobble Bug Monster. No! I said, I didn't want Halloween to end. I still wanted to be a monster. Okay, take pajamas on. I didn't want to go to bed. Run! Hey, Tig, we've had so much Halloween fun. We don't want to spoil it. Maybe it's time to stop the rules. I but I like being a monster. I like being a monster too. But even monsters have to go to bed. Wee! I like a lot of monsters. Oh yes, I do. Spotty ones and hairy ones, one eye or two. They squelch around in wellies, they make me laugh. And some are rather smelly, they need a bath. They wobble, roar and squabble, and they bump their tums. But I really, really like my monster chum. But monsters are for daytime fun and not when bedtime comes. So when I sleep my happy night, so do my monster chums. Night, night, monsters, not one roar. Snuggle down comfy and please don't snore. Night, night, monsters, not one peep, snuggle down, come fee and go to sleep. Yes, I thought. I've had the best Halloween, but now is bedtime. I close my eyes. When I opened my eyes again, I was no longer a monster. I was in my pyjamas. Not a bed for the bubble monster. Not a bubble monster, just me. <laughs> it's only a toy spider, a <gasps> silly dragon. Oh, come on then. I like Halloween and I love Wooly. We've been guessing to Dobbin. When I was little, my Auntie Shona works at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited my Auntie Shona, I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. 
One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tank. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin was friendly. Dobbin let me stroke him. I like Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I love Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. Where's Dobbin? Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new riding hat. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. You won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time so for your riding so lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie I'm Shona ready. sniffed I'll go and, and went to fetch Daddy. I was sad. I was very sad. Hey, Tig. Nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, Ah! It's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. And I love Wooly. We've been guests to a The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yep. Ready, I said. And off we Let's went to climb the mountain. Are you excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. 
Can I have a sandwich? I said. I Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Take, there'll be none left, please. I said, just one. I ate another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way, so you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Waiting. When I was little, I didn't like waiting. I didn't like waiting for Mummy to finish her work. I didn't like waiting for Daddy to come home. Wooly didn't like waiting either. One day, I was waiting for the rain to right. go away. He'll be all day waiting for the rain to stop. Should we go and bake a cake instead? Come on, Why then. don't we bake a cake instead? Said Daddy. Right. We washed our hands and put on our aprons. I put everything on Good the job. table. Bowls, sugar, oil, Two. eggs, Oranges and raisins. We need oh, said Daddy. Carrots. Mustn't forget the carrots. Oh, carrots for a cake. I said. Just you wait and see, Tig. Wait and see, said Daddy. Mmm, I thought. I like my carrots with my potatoes. Thank you. Daddy chopped Thank the carrots you. and I grated them in the special machine. Daggy, isn't it? Daddy grated orange skins. Is enough orange peel? All of it. We tipped sugar into a bowl. Daddy poured sticky oil all over the sugar. Slop. When the carrots and oranges. Yuck. Whoa. We broke eggs all over the yuck. I sprinkled raisins. Want to do another one? 
I mixed up the mush. Nothing looks like anything. Is this a cake? I said. Just wait and see, said Daddy. Flump. I dumped some flour in. And I stirred everything together. I like making cakes. Daddy had a tin with paper. We put the mush into the tin. Into the oven went the tin. Say bye bye to the cake. Bye bye cake. Now to wait, said Daddy. Let's see, let's see the clock up there. So when the big hand gets to 12, it's ready, OK? And now we just have to wait for the cake to bake. How, how long? Can I see the cake now? I said, not yet, Egg. We have right, to wait. Nothing was happening. I didn't like waiting. Hey, Tig, waiting for things to happen can be very tiring and dull and yawning. <sighs> waiting for things to happen can be angry making too. <laughs> the trouble with waiting for things to happen is that some things just don't seem to happen at all. The time just seems to stop. Tick. Tock, tick, tock. But if you want the time to move and things to happen again, then don't sit and wait. Do something else. Have fun and think about other things. And when you're having fun and thinking about other things, things will start happening. So go for it, Tig. Why not have fun and help Daddy clean the kitchen? Then that cake will be baked in no time. Yes, I thought. No use sitting and waiting. I'll do something else. Daddy, can I help you clean up? I help Daddy do the washing up. OK. Then it was time to take the cake out of the oven. Wow. How lovely does it look? Mmm. Right. We waited again for the cake to cool. Willie played hide and seek with Daddy. Oh, oh, it's a spider! Ah. Oh, you got me! It's only a toy spider. Then we ate the carrot cake. It didn't need potatoes. Mm. I don't mind waiting for some things. I love Willie. Christmas all over again. And I love Willy. I love Willy and Willy loves me. We've been together since we were wee. 